Welcome back to KB Decor and Crafts. On today's video, we're going to be making a Santa mailbox using only Dollar Tree items. Now let's get started. I found this Christmas steak over at the Dollar Tree and took the tray off to use the wooden dowel part for this part of the craft. Using this Dollar Tree handsaw, I sawed off the pointy edge of this steak. The stake had some metal staples attached to it, so I just pulled them out with my pliers. Using the handsaw and a sanding block to level out the end of the stick. I got this small sign over at the Dollar Tree that I decided to use as the base of my mailbox. Using my pliers, I pried off the little cactus sign that was attached to this. I painted the stake and the base to my mailbox with Waverly chalk paint in white. Now this mailbox is what inspired me to do this craft in the first place. I thought it was cute as it is, but I wanted to at least DIY this one and change it up a bit. I also covered the flag with painter's tape to not get it messed up. Using Waverly chalk paint in crimson, I painted the entire mailbox red. Just a little side note, I did have to give this two full coats of paint. Now for the back of the mailbox, I started off by using acrylic paint and dark green, but it wasn't working out as great. It wasn't as opaque as I wanted it, even with several coats. So here you'll see me using chalk paint instead. By the way, this is in the color Malachite. If you ever need a list of the supplies I used, I'll keep them down in my description below. Now for the wooden stake, I wanted to create a candy cane effect, so I just used some painter's tape um, to create some stripes. Now using that same crimson red we painted the mailbox in, I painted the stripes in between the painter's tape. Now make sure you paint on the sides as well. We'll be taking off the tape to paint on the back as well. Now once the paint was completely dry, I removed the painter's tape to start on the back of the stake. So I continued my stripes on the back side with the same painter's tape and the same red paint to continue the stripes of the candy cane. There was a little bit of bleeding through the tape, so I just went back in with some white and a very thin brush to clean up those edges. And now here you'll see me going over the entire mailbox with the same red crimson paint and the green as well to give it a nice solid coating. I made sure to get around all of the edges as well. With that same small brush, I cleaned up any areas that were needed. For the very front of my mailbox, I painted with white chalk paint and also gave it two coats. Mm -hmm. 
While I had my white chalk paint out, I removed the painter's tape off the flag and painted the entire flag white. Just remember to try to be very careful not to get it on the actual mailbox itself. I realized that the base that I wanted to use was a little too long, so I didn't really measure it out. I just kind of vi like visually measured it, and I saw that off with the handsaw as well. Then sanded it down and painted it like, on the edges with white paint as well. Once I was all dry, I used some Gorilla wood glue to adhere the stake to the base. Now I'll have to be honest, this wasn't the easiest task to do. I did have to hold it in place for quite some time and I decided to add a little bit of hot glue around the edges just to help speed up the process. While that was drying, I decided to go ahead and design and decorate my mailbox. All the stencils I used for this craft were all from the Dollar Tree. The Christmas ones that they put out were perfect for this. I decided to add Santa and the Ho 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 on this side of my mailbox. He was too cute and I love how this came out. On the other side of my mailbox, I'm using this font stencil to write the words Santa's Mail. Now, I don't know if it's a sponge brush that I'm using, but I always manage to get some bleeding through my stencils, so I just use a very thin brush to clean up my edges. At the back of my mailbox, I thought it would be cute to use this little reindeer stencil. I don't think I noted, but I am just using regular acrylic paint and white for my stenciling. Now I'm just realizing that my son's uh, playing in the background here. He's always trying to get in my videos. He likes to see himself in the viewfinder, so there was not much I could do to get him out of this. Now here I am again just cleaning up the edges with a small thin brush. Above where I stenciled on the word Santa's Mail, I wanted to make a stamp, so I just freehanded this little Christmas stamp. You could easily just Google a picture of a, any type of Christmas stamps and paint this on yourself. Now you'll see this was very easy. All I did was paint it on a little green Christmas tree, added a little stem on the bottom, and a star on top. I also drew on a little postage stamp that just said December 25th. 
wanted to create some little letters that were actually in the mailbox so using this foam poster board from Dollar Tree I cut out three small envelope pieces. My measurements were three and a half by four centimeters. I used an X-Acto knife to cut these out and it worked perfectly. I would imagine you can use scissors as well, although the Dollar Tree does carry their own X-Acto knives. With a thin point black sharpie, I just drew on the back of my envelopes the lines you would see on a normal envelope. For the front of my envelopes, I just wanted them to resemble coming from three different children, three different ages, so I just scribbled on as best as I could to make them look like kids wrote them and also painted on some stamps. Now here I was just measuring them out to see how I can get them to fit in the mailbox and then I glued two of them facing one way together and then using the third one glued on the back of those to be facing the other way. I wanted them to look like they were spilling out of the mailbox as if the mailbox was full so that's why I have them positioned the way I do. The way I glued my envelopes together, they actually fit in there quite snug, so I didn't have to add any extra glue at all to keep them in there. To add my mailbox to the top of the stake, I just add some hot glue and hold on to the top of the mailbox until I can make sure that it's sturdy enough to let go. Now this was also quite challenging. I would recommend using a piece of foam board to put underneath and sticking that onto the actual base. Um, and that should adhere a little better. Now I wanted to cover the base of the mailbox with some fake snow. So I found this fake snow sheet at the Dollar Tree. I cut it down to size and wrapped it around the bottom. I did end up having to glue it down as I went with hot glue. And there you have it. Here is this adorable Santa's mailbox that I made entirely from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely adore how this came out and I can't wait to display this in my Christmas decorations. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time.